right, folks. This is back of pocket. They asked me to film a midge clip. Got midge doll right here and porno granny. They're going to wrestle. And then, and then flying. And then they're going to go. But let's hear some movies for a minute. Been watching this movie, Machine Girl. It's kind of weird. Girl with a machine gun arm. Go bang, bang, bang. Mm-hmm. But she's kind of hot in her little schoolgirl outfit, you see. But it's, it's, it's kind of got this Power Ranger motif to it. And, 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 and how do you put it? She fights with a machine gun arm. Be kind of cool. Machine gun arm. Bap, 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 bap. She fights ninja, Yakuza, more Yakuza, oh yeah, and it's bloody and gory, but it's kind of like a hammer film, bloody and gory, not this whole hostile thing where they make it gross and realistic as possible. This is kind of plastic, kind of puppety, kind of basically hammer film, but let's move on to another film I want to share with you, Miramax. Kind of like Alice in Wonderland, done with Henson's group, and Neil Gaiman wrote it, and Dave McKean did the work and directing on it, and they are both both Gaiman and Gaiman just Gaiman and M M M M. Oh, Bob Kane, kind of nervous here, but by Neil Gaiman. And Dave McKeon. Dave McKeon, you may remember his art from the covers of all the Gaiman's, a lot of Gaiman's work. Especially his photo work on, on the Sandman series. This is a very good film. This is better than Labyrinth. You know, Labyrinth, the one with David Bowie. And then there's the one, oh, oh yeah, that does that with Jennifer Connelly before she developed boobies. But, let's move on. Jennifer Connelly's boobies were kind of cool. Especially in the film when she's locked in the, in the store with Target, and, and and she's wearing that low cut outfit, you know she's got big boobies there, and then she got them these really reduced down. But enough of that. But I recommend this film if you like the never end the story, because Atreyu was hella cool. But this film is Alice in Wonderland meets the never ending story kind of thing where she Helen goes into the world, Miramax brings her back and this and that and that. And it then her drawings are what she's hiding in. But enough of that film. I'm beginning to get lost. This is my favorite. Zebra Man. Kinda like the Power Rangers meet Batman. But Zebra Man's a school teacher. And no one likes him. Everyone hates him. You know, kinda like Bike Bobcat, but this is by Takamichi. Wait, Takashi Miki. The creator of Itchy the Killer and the Great Yakuka Yakuku War. Y Yukai War. Let's say it again, biker. Yukai War. And this is a homage to the Power Rangers Sentai series. It's very good. It's kind of it's really funny too if you know a lot about it. Biker Bobcat doesn't know a lot because he's kind of wrong in the head, but Moss and Mike asked me to do a review of it, and after all, I do recommend seeing it, even though Ron Tomato said don't see it, but they're looking at like an American superhero film, but this ain't American superhero, this is Japanese, like Ultraman, and Power Rangers, and Kamen Rider, that's it, but let's go one more film. We don't have a box for it, but Biker Bobcat can do this. We can talk about Batman. The new Batman movie is effing awesome. Because we know the little kids watch this. It is effing awesome. It has Ski Crew. It has Two Fakes. It has Joker. It has Batman. Kavishi Gordon, they're all all fighting each other just over Gotham, you know. Ah! And and the Joker's going, 
Why so serious? Do you know how I got these scars? But, enough of that. We now need to do finishes up as a Miz clip. Oh no, the camera fell.